In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set yourself up to hopefully qualify for an airdrop in the Linea ecosystem. Linea is a rapidly growing Ethereum layer 2 rollup. However, they don't have a token yet. And as a reminder, everything in this video is speculation. However, it's informed by criteria that were used to airdrop people tokens for other layer 2s such as Arbitrum and Optimism. So based on what qualified you for airdrops of those other chains in the past, we'll talk about some actions you can take on Linea to hopefully qualify you for this airdrop. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. And as a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice. You should still do your own research. Awesome. Now let's get into the video. To start, what exactly is Alinea? They brand themselves as a developer-ready ZK EVM rollup for scaling Ethereum dApps. From your perspective as a user, that means that you can run applications that would normally be run on Ethereum. However, they'll be cheaper to use and they'll be faster on Linea. And one thing that's really important about Linea and part of the reason why so many people are excited about it is that it's built by a company known as Consensus. Consensus builds infrastructure and tools for the Ethereum ecosystem, and they are best known for building the MetaMask web wallet, which is currently the number one web wallet in crypto and has been for years. So that's Linea in a nutshell. How can you hopefully qualify for an airdrop? Well, the number one thing to do is actually to just use the ecosystem. But if you want a step-by-step -step guide, then I have a list of airdrop checklists. I'll link this down in the description. I've got a whole bunch of airdrops on here and what you can do to hopefully qualify. But one of these is Linea. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. I'll use this as a guide for which actions to take. So the first thing you'll need to do is you are actually going to need to bridge to Linea, of course. And there's a lot of bridges that can access Linea. However, in general, when there's been these airdrops in the past, the best bridge to use that's qualified you for the most airdrop has actually been the native bridge of that ecosystem. So you're going to find that at bridge.linea.build. And what I would do is I would use this to bridge some funds over from Ethereum mainnet to Linea. Again, for other airdrops in the past, using the ecosystem's own bridge was a good way to qualify. All right, so that's the first thing that you're going to do. Once you do that, the next thing is you're going to want to use some DeFi in the Linea ecosystem. And this website, DeFi Llama, tracks DeFi projects on Linea. You can see that there's about 34 right now, although not all of them have any money deposited. What I would do is I would go through here and I would use the top applications on Linea. And you can see the number one is a DEX known as Stargate. Again, you could bridge to Linea with that. However, I would definitely be sure to use the official bridge as well. And then the other top ones are all decentralized exchanges. And most of these are also on other chains. So if you're using, for example, KyberSwap, make sure you're actually using it on Linea and not on one of the other 15 chains that it's available on. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use these exchanges and you're going to want to swap. You're going to want to provide liquidity. So for example, to look at KyberSwap, if we go here, you're going to make sure that the chain is on Linea. And then you might swap ETH for USDC, you might swap USDC back for ETH, and you would enter some of these liquidity pools on KyberSwap, actually depositing money. Again, based on when chains did airdrops in the past, they wanted people to both be active and to actually be depositing money into the DeFi ecosystem. One th important thing to note here is if you're swapping, don't just do it once and consider yourself done, right? Make a schedule, set a reminder, make a spreadsheet to come back once a week, once a month, a couple times a month to just do some kind of swap back and forth to make sure that you are keeping active. A lot of times in the past when there's been airdrops, different chains have rewarded people who were active over an extended period of time to try to weed out people who were just trying to farm an airdrop. And along those lines, something else that's important to know is when you're swapping, make sure it's with at least a somewhat substantial amount of money. And that doesn't mean it has to be thousands of dollars. Not everyone has that. But I would say ideally make sure it's at least, you know, 20 to $100, uh, preferably, preferably even over 100. If you don't have that, again, work with what you have. But I remember with Arbitrum, there were people who swapped like $3 on there and then said, why am I not getting an airdrop? And, and the reason is, you know, if, if they gave an airdrop to everyone who swapped $3, then people would just make a hundred different accounts as some people did anyways and swap a little bit of money on all of them. So, so swap more if you can, even if you're just swapping one way and back. Next thing I would do in addition to using KyberSwap is I would want to use a lending protocol. 
and currently the largest protocol that is native to Linea. That means it's deployed on Linea first that has lending and borrowing is known as Mendy Finance. Again, this is all in DeFi Llama. So what I would do is I would go to Mendy Finance and I would lend out a bit of money and I would maybe even borrow a bit. Nothing that's gonna risk getting you liquidated, nothing that's beyond your risk level. But again, the more you use these applications, the better your chance of getting an airdrop is gonna be. So that's the next thing I would do. And then finally, Linea actually has something known as the Linea DeFi Voyage right now, where they're giving you badges on intract.io for completing various tasks. I would make sure I tried to qualify for all of these. And if you look, a lot of these are going to start expiring soon. We have this first one with MetaMask is expiring in two days. We have this next wave is starting in two days. So you got to kind of keep on top of this. But what I would say is at a minimum, you're going to be using the chain. So it'll sort of get you active. At best, it wouldn't surprise me if there was some sort of reward for people who actually stuck with all of these tasks because the Linea ecosystem is going through the trouble of setting up these tasks. Wouldn't they want to reward their most engaged supporters in some way? And that's basically what I would do. I would set a schedule, use all these DeFi applications, make sure you keep up with the quests. And again, I'm going to link this checklist down in the description. There's a lot of other potential airdrops on here as well if you want to really dive into airdrop farming. That's all for today. For more tutorials and videos on crypto like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.